Hi, my name is Amber Smith and I am the Serve Director here at Calvary and I'm so excited that I get to um, be with you today and share with you one of my favorite stories from the book of Judges. Um, and I encourage you guys to go and read this for yourself, but I'm just going to do a little recap today so that you can get an idea of what the story is. And so it's going to be found in Judges 4 and 5. This is the story of the judge of Deborah. And what was happening at this time is the people were doing evil in the sight of God. And so he gave them over to their enemies in Canaan. And for 20 years, the people of Canaan oppressed the Israelites. And finally, after 20 years, the people cried out to God for help. And so God answered their cry. He came to um, Barak, who was the leader of the Israelite army, and told him to go and, and fight the Canaanites and that he would give them victory over them. But Barak didn't do what God wanted. And so Deborah, um, who is a prophetess and the judge over Israel, calls him and says, didn't God tell you to go and fight the Canaanites and that God would give you victory? And he said, I'll go if you go with me, but if you do not go, I will not go and fight. And so Deborah answers and says, I will go with you, but because you didn't trust God, you do not get the glory and the victory, and God is going to give the glory to a woman instead. So they go and they fight, and God gives them victory, and they kill all the enemy um, soldiers, and their leader of the Canaanite army, his name is Sisera, he flees, and he flees to the tent of a woman named Jael. And he comes in, and she welcomes him. She gives him something to drink, and he lays down, and he goes to sleep. And while he's sleeping, she takes a tent peg and drives it through the temple on his skull and kills him. And she is credited with having the glory and, and victory for Israel and freeing them, um, from the Canaanites. And so this story is uh, amazingly gruesome and epic, and I love it for so many reasons, more than I can share um, today. But I just want to look at a, a few things. Um, the first thing is that, one, the Israelites were oppressed for 20 years before they cried out to God for help. 20 years they were living in oppression and pain and suffering. And all the while, God was there waiting um, to help them, to give them victory and freedom. But it took them 20 years. And as I was reading this, I was thinking, how long do we, how long do I um, sit and live in suffering and oppression before I cry out to God? All the while, he's waiting there, ready to help us and give us victory and freedom. We just have to cry out to him. And the second thing in that is that God did not work in any way that people expected. Um, first of all, he used women in a time when women were property and had no rights um, and were considered nothing. But you have Deborah, who is leading the nation of Israel. And you have Jael, who God uses to um, subdue and kill the commander of the Canaanite army. And we see that God is always working, and he is powerful, and he is not confined by our box of normality or what we expect or even what we want. But know that God is always working, and he is there ready to give us victory and freedom. We just have to be willing to cry out to him and be okay with how he works in our life, even if it's not what we expect or want. And lastly, we have these two opposing characters. We have Barak and Deborah. Barak, we see, let fear dictate his actions in life. God had called him to go and fight the Canaanite army, and he wouldn't go because he was too afraid. He didn't go and be obedient to God because he let fear control him. And then you have Deborah, who had faith in God and trusted God. He, she trusted that what God said he would do. And so you have these two opposing these two opposing characters, one that lived in fear and let fear control him, and one where she lived in faith and trusted God and knew that God would do what he said. And so we can see God does not want us to live in fear. 
God tells us 365 times in the Bible, do not be afraid. Fear, living in fear, steals our joy and peace and freedom, and it steals the blessings that God has for our life. If Barak had listened and trusted God and been obedient to what God had done, asked him to do, then he would have been given the credit and the glory for being victorious. But instead, he's remembered as a coward. And so God wants us to live in freedom and have his joy and peace and not let fear control our life. And so I just want to encourage you guys today to cry out to God, whether in the midst of pain or suffering or you're overwhelmed by fear, know that God has already given us freedom and we can live in his victory. So don't let fear control you today. Remember, God is there waiting and willing and he is always with you and working in your life if you cry out to him.